Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing as Catholic Metsigo. I do apologize for any loud sounds you guys hear. There's a massive storm going through right now. I waited as long as I could to record, at least until the hell stopped because it was uh, there was a lot of hell. It was really loud. Uh, but yeah, I still got some thunder and rain. Uh, you know, this might cause a little bit of sound, so I do apologize for that. Uh, just uh, try and ignore it. Or just pretend it's raining right now as we defeat the United States. Uh, so we'll have the peace treaty with them very, very soon. Uh, and uh, then, you know, obviously we'll be done with the War of the Allies and we'll have to determine what we do next. Uh, one thing I would like to say in regards to the series, though, is I, I have, I feel like I have learned uh, a lot about the new resistance and occupation system, stuff I didn't know before. Uh, I guess I really haven't had to uh, uh, interact with it that much in past series. I haven't had that many issues with it. Uh, if you guys recall in the Japanese and, and French series, there weren't really too many problems with it. The only one that I had some issues with occupation was in the uh, Portuguese series. Uh, so you'll you'll see a theme here uh, that it seems like when it comes to occupying large countries like United States or Russia, uh, that it can be very, very difficult to do as a minor power uh, because they just don't have the, the manpower and the equipment typically to occupy those very, very large regions, which then causes you know the uh, resistance to, to grow out of control. Now, in the Portuguese series, we are obviously able to avoid any rebellions or, or anything like that, but we did have some issues uh, with uh, you know the occupation simply because we didn't have the, the manpower and equipment for our garrisons. Now, of course, in that series, we were able to get assistance by an ally to occupy territory much sooner than we were able to get it in this one from Brazil. Uh, so it wasn't as big of an issue, uh, but I think it would have been if we hadn't, uh, you know, been able to, uh, you know, get that assistance from an ally. Uh, so that, that's kind of what I'm thinking, seeing here, that it, it's really mostly an issue for minor powers. Uh, so as a major power, you usually don't have too many, too many problems with it. Uh, so yeah, I've learned a lot, uh, both from you know playing and, and dealing with this, as well as some of your guys' uh, tips in the comments, some of you who've dealt with the system a little bit more than I have. And uh, I feel like the next time we have issues, uh, you know, specifically as a minor power occupying some large territory, I think we'll do much better overall. Just a little bit of learning uh, that we had to do. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish up this war, guys. We just need to get a couple more provinces. We're going towards Boston. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, but we're gonna continue cutting troops off because why the hell not? Might as well. Uh, so we'll keep on doing like here and, and uh, here and here, I think is where we're currently cutting off divisions we have a guy going there i want to say there's another opening right here that we should take advantage of you know what? we'll go here actually so let's attack with these guys and then support with these ones all right lovely uh so oh yes there's a few things we need to do my bad uh we need to get this done first so we're gonna go and train you know what? actually we're not gonna train troops up instead of training troops let's switch out some of our cruddy divisions i'm gonna actually switch out all three of these uh, over to the large division designs, and I know this will stretch the limits of some of our equipment, but that's okay. Uh, so we're going to switch all three of those up for right now. Uh, also going to probably hurt their experience by a lot. Uh, but that's what we're going to do, guys. And good God, got some thunder in the background there. Uh, that we are going to focus on getting rid of some of these these smaller division designs, uh, you know, with our, our current manpower and equipment. All right, so again, we only need to take a couple more victory points, and then this this war will be over. Uh, you can see that we have almost completed the attempt here to get these guys surrounded. Uh, let's just go up to this province, and grab that, and yeah, these guys are now all cut off from supply. So we'll go ahead and and work towards getting them destroyed. Uh, let's see the best way to do this. We'll go here, and uh, instead of going up that way, let's go down here and take all of this easy territory and we should be getting be able to get some good wins here now that they are cut off from supply and we'll have one go this way and one go this way and he can cross the river there and there are going to be some difficulty uh, since they still have supply for the next two days uh, and and crossing the rivers of course are, are difficult anyways but that's all right guys all right so we'll keep on doing that Again, we don't really need to do any of this because once we take Boston, the Americans will capitulate. Let's go ahead and assist that so we can cut these guys off. I'm doing it just because I can, basically. <laughs> so there's nobody here to stop us from cutting off these large number of divisions, and it just kind of shows what would have happened. Yeah, there they go. So, 
Yeah, the Americans have capitulated. I didn't even get the notification for that, I don't think. Uh, they must have fired the peace treaty like as soon as they capitulated. So we can take a look. You see that the Germans and the Italians both got to act before us. They also got to take a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah, looks like they were able to do quite a few things in the initial part of this peace treaty. Uh, have they dealt with Britain yet? Yeah, they pretty much have dealt with Britain already. Yeah, that's a real shame, guys. Uh, so we need to be able to do as, as much as we possibly can, but I'm a little bit concerned. That we're not going to be able to do as much as I would like to do. Uh, so we don't have to take all this here? Do we automatically get it? Hmm, that's strange. Uh, yeah, we should have to take this. I know it's core territory. Uh, but yeah, you should still have to take it. All right, uh, so we definitely want to get that one there. That's only eight points. And then we have to get our core territory up along here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after all the cores. They should be pretty cheap. Uh, Texas is a little bit more expensive for good reason. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we should be able to get all of our core territory. So we're going to really focus on that. Yeah, we can't even get it all. Uh, we have so few points. Ah, the point system, guys. It's wonderful. So yeah, Germany and Italy will likely get to do things here in America that they shouldn't be able to do. Uh, but is what it is. Uh, we got California. We got Texas. Let me see if I can't get one more. Yeah, these are all too expensive. How about Cuba? Uh, Cuba's even more expensive. All right, so we're not getting that. Uh, I definitely want to make sure that we get these islands here, but we didn't take them, so they're they're too expensive now. All right, so that's a shame. Um, it looks like they also took this territory over here. They did something over here, so that's a shame. Uh, I'm going to try and take that because we need the resources. We'll be able to get that one. Yeah, we're going to get like hardcore screwed in this peace treaty, guys. Again, not, not surprising at all. Is there anything really, really cheap we can take? We take these islands here. They're only worth four points. Yeah, I guess we'll go after these ones. I don't think we can get any more. What if we did this one and not this one? No. All right, so that's four points. If there's anything else really cheap, I mean, these ones are like 16. There's 18 here, but I prefer Venezuela to get that. Uh, it feels like it's rightfully theirs. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything else cheaper unless we were to go over here to the Pacific I might be able to find something I'm not super interested in expanding out that way but how much is this is it, can we get this one no we cannot and yeah there's there's a lot of thunder in the background guys so yeah and I do apologize for all the the sounds what about the six pointer here no okay so we are done this is all we were able to get yeah this is ugh, good god guys yeah I feel like we're, we're really gonna get screwed in this this peace treaty uh, let's see what the Germans and Italians did. All right, so yeah, they're puppeting all this territory here. And let's just take a look at the Italians. All right, so the Italians are going to be a, a worldwide empire. That's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and continue taking our cores. Um, yeah, they should stop right about here. Yeah, right along here would stop. And then we should have Colorado, too. And I think that's it as far as core territory. Yeah, so that's it for core territory. So we've taken all the cores. I also would really like to get Cuba because we can core that. Uh, we don't have a core there yet, but we can core it. Uh, so I think it would be good to get that. Also, I, I guess we won't go for this one uh, unless we just need something that we can spend 14 points on. So at this point, I guess we'll just go ahead and continue taking American territory. I think what we're going to do is try and have like a... We're going to puppet America. We should do that first before somebody else does it. Now, where are they going to be at? Probably somewhere dumb. So yeah, we're gonna have to take all states and then leave the one state where I want them to be in their capital. I want Washington DC to be their capital so that we can then, oops, God damn it. So that we can then puppet the United States and that'll be their capital. And then we'll have to remove all these states here. Uh, so starting at Ohio. So we'll go through all this, turn all these off, and then we'll see what we can still get. Probably not much. Yeah, we can't get Oregon, so that's 67. Uh, Louisiana's, yeah, we can't get that, that's 61. So we're going to have to go for much cheaper territory, likely territory along here. Uh, could also go for, for Alaska. Uh, that's not worth too much. Uh, but we still can't get it. It's 21 points, unfortunately. All right, so that's not an option. Um, hmm. I guess we'll just have to go after some of the uh, the islands here. I'm not seeing anything else that we could grab. So we uh, can't go for Jamaica. It's too expensive. Uh, this one I'd like to go to the Dominican Republic, but you know I want to get my stuff first. So 
Maybe the six pointer? No, you can't even get six pointer. All right, so that's telling us right now we can't get anything. So let's go ahead and end our turn. So we've annexed a little bit of territory. Let's see what they have done now. So they have been taking territory that we would have liked to get in. Uh, it's just, yeah, overall, they had far too many points. Uh, and and then also we didn't we didn't occupy all this territory. Remember, uh, so uh, you know it's it's just going to result in us not being able to do as much as I would have liked to be able to do. It's a real shame. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and finish this up. We need to finish getting as much territory as can before we can't get territory anymore. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take all the territory up along here. I'll worry about getting territory for America later. Uh, I really want to get some of this. Well, you know what? They're not gonna take any territory off of the coast. So what we could do is just go for coastal territory. Like get all this. I want to go all the way to Florida for our own territory, all up along the coast here. All right, so we won't be able to get any more of that. We could take a look and see if the Americans can get anything cheaper. Uh, probably not though. Uh, but yeah, we want to give all this to America. You know, I just I just don't think we're gonna have enough points to get many of the things we want to do. Like Jamaica's already been taken from us. I feel like you gotta get Haiti to the Dominican Republic, man. Like we gotta get that to them before somebody else does it. So let's go ahead and give them. We probably can't even give them. It's eighty points. Yeah, it's just a just a real shame, guys. Just don't have the points. Uh, they're gonna start messing with America this coming up turn here. You already know, so. Uh, let's see what we can get. Uh, can we get Alaska? Yeah, we really just can't get anything. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, they even took... Yeah, alright. So, I'm really bummed out the way this is going. Uh, but again, the lack of points. Also, they're going to take... They got Canada. Uh, so, you know. Just didn't have the points. But they really shouldn't be able to mess with any of this, honestly. Like, they didn't do anything but get their butts kicked in Canada. I defeated Canada the first time. And uh, while we didn't occupy them the second time, they didn't either. So, yeah, it's just kind of a bummer. I just I knew this peace treaty was going to be like that. Uh, so this is what I wanted to take for ourselves up to Florida. I felt like Florida needed to be ours so the Gulf of Mexico could be completely ours. And then we might take all this here. Uh, but again, let's go for the, the coastal territory. Uh, yeah, this is coastal. So let's get to America and just see what we can get them, guys. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to get them much. No, there's just uh, just not a lot of points available for us. We can try and take cheaper stuff here, but yeah, it doesn't look like any of this is cheap enough. All right, so that's a shame. So under turn, access will take more. Yeah, I took all of Canada over. That's a real bummer. All right, um, so let's go ahead and get the Americans before the, all this American territory gets taken. You'd expect it to be really expensive for them, but, you know, uh, it's not the way it's been going. <laughs> you know, I probably shouldn't take these first, as if anybody was to get them, it feels like if, I wouldn't want them to take this territory down here, if you know what I mean. And it doesn't look like we can do any of this anyway. Good God, man. We're just gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to pass. Uh, we just don't have the points to get anything uh, done. All right, so what did they do last here? And good God, the, the rain is so loud, guys. I do, do apologize. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can hear it. I never know exactly how bad it sounds. Can we get them all this? No, we cannot. I'm just trying to connect this here, but having some difficulty with that. And they could take territory all, all up along here if they wanted to. And I'm feeling like I'm having to yell over the rain and, and hail right now. Good God, it's so bad. Uh, it's just one of those days. It's been one of those those weeks, honestly. It's just been a really crappy week. Uh, and, and not just weather, but just everything. Yeah, I guess Alaska, I mean, it's the only thing we can get. I waited five minutes, guys. I can't wait any longer. We're not going to be able to finish this video. Uh, I've got, you know, very limited time to, to record this week. Uh, as I discussed in the previous episodes, just very really busy this week. So, yeah, I guess we'll take uh, uh, Alaska since there's nothing else to get here. Uh, but, yeah, the, the storm is so bad, guys. <laughs> it sounds like shit out there. All right, guys, let's calm down a little bit. I got to get this started. I waited another five minutes. Uh, and yeah, we got to get this going. Uh, I just don't have time. This is going to be a mess. Uh, this video is going to be a mess to edit, man. I already know. Uh, yeah, where are we at? I don't even know where we're at because just been sitting here. Uh, I, I think we just started this turn. Uh, so we can go ahead and start taking whatever we can get here. Uh, I really want to get all this, obviously. That's right, we've taken all the coastline. Okay, I remember now. Uh, so let's go up along the edge here. Uh, and again, I feel like I don't really want the Americans to have much. 
I already gave him the steal here uh, for Pennsylvania. And steal is something that we need. Uh, so I almost think we're just going to let him have that, and I'm going to take the rest of the damn country over because screw them. Uh, screw the Americans. So it doesn't look like we can get all of this, unfortunately. Uh, just short, so let's go ahead and go after some like cheaper ones. Can't go that for that one either. So I want to say that's probably going to be it. I don't know if there's any other like uh, allied territory out there that the... Uh, Axis haven't taken yet. I assume no. Yeah, this is pretty much it right here guys So they could end up taking these two. We'll have to see what happens because I can't close it off yet uh, So let's go to end our turn And then see if we can get these two we cannot so we might as well just pass and I don't know if they're still doing anything It looks like they're not maybe they're done. Uh, we'll see uh, But this has closed it off. They shouldn't be able to take anything else from this point on And uh, we'll just put a get the rest of this at our own leisure since we shouldn't have to worry about them so we might as well just pass a couple times so that we can get this finished up here and I think it's gonna need one more turn yeah one more turn so I'm gonna grab that and then I want to say that's likely it yeah oh Poland there's still Poland left that's interesting still a little little uh, spot of, of Polish territory here, and I don't know what the axis did here, so I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just gonna keep passing until they deal with it though. It doesn't look like they're very inclined to dealing with this And I would give it to somebody, but I don't know what this looks like like I have no idea what their borders look like here I guess we'll just give it to Poland. I mean no because Poland isn't formed or else we wouldn't be able to hmm Yeah, I don't know who took that territory, so I don't know who to give it to I guess we could take a look and see who took the rest of the territory? Uh, it looks like Germany took it all. Uh, so we'll give it to Germany. Since for whatever reason, they do not want to take it for themselves. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they don't have the points. Maybe it's really expensive because somebody else took it over. I don't know who would have though. So yeah, we'll give that to Germany. And that should be good. Uh, so we just gave the United States this little patch of territory here. And we took over the rest of it. This is going to take a bit of time. And the storm has rolled back in. Alright guys, I gave another 10 minutes. It seems like the storm has finally calmed down. But good god, it just felt like I was like yelling at the mic. So, don't have a lot of time left to record. I've already been recording this video for over 40 minutes. Uh, so, you know, and I know after all the cutting, it's probably not even 20 minutes. Uh, so, sorry about that guys. But it is what it is. Don't control the weather. And uh, today's just been a really bad day when it comes to the storm. Uh, I did do a lot of things. Uh, while I was waiting haven't got the troops moved though, so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, Go ahead and make sure they don't have any orders here, and then we'll just move them all uh, Well, we don't want to have many places. Well, we won't shouldn't have any resistance here, so we should be able to move them all over to here uh, Then move all these guys over to here just kind of get everybody moved and uh, Then we're gonna train them all up and then we can keep these guys. You know what? I almost feel like they'll probably just take all these back um, but what we could do is at least have them training for right now Let's just move them on to areas. It doesn't really matter where where we put these guys as long as they're in uh, Core territory so that they don't take any uh, You know attrition from increased resistance uh, as far as operatives. I've already got those assigned So I've put most of them in Spain uh, if we were to do anything after this I think we'd go to war with Spain next uh, and and you know we could go to war with the Axis. I suppose that'd be all, always be a possibility. I don't know if we will or not, though. At the very least, I want to attack Spain because I feel like they betrayed us. They betrayed us and, and created their own faction. And, uh, you know, I feel like they need to pay for that. They also cause us issues here in Canada, uh, you know, by having those troops still here. Uh, so I feel like if we're going to attack anybody, we should attack them. Uh, and then if we wanted to attack the Axis next, which, again, I'm not entirely sure I do want to because the, the views for this series have actually dropped off uh, several videos ago. So basically, as soon as I needed to start conquering the United States again uh, after those rebellions, I noticed that the uh, their views did drop off, unfortunately. So we got to get rid of all these orders here or else these guys are going to go to them. So let's go ahead and make sure we get rid of all, all the orders they might end up having. Oh yeah, I, I noticed that, that when we had to fight all those rebellions, uh, which I thought were pretty fun, some people said they were boring, uh, and then clearly some people didn't want to watch that uh, Me Conquer America again. Uh, so the views did drop off, so we'll see how they look after I've won here. 
uh, and we'll, we'll tag Spain and see how the views look. And then from there, if you know people are still watching the series, uh, we could then attack the Axis. Though that would be quite the effort. Uh, we'd have to, you know, that would be a war that would take a long time. So, because uh, Germany is very, very powerful, uh, and then the Italians are actually pretty powerful as well. If you look at the world, obviously they they butchered it. <laughs> the uh, the United Kingdom has been split between the Italians and, and the, the Germans in a terrible way because the Germans are greedy. They should have let Italy have Scotland. Uh, I know that, that the Italians didn't help conquering here, but they did help conquer uh, Ireland, so they should have got something there. Uh, notice then there's a little bit of a... There's two different Frances here, essentially. Yeah, two different France uh, countries. Uh, we also have... What other kind of weird stuff that they do? Uh, looks like two different Croatias. You have the independent state of Croatia and then the Croatian Yugoslavia. So that's pretty stupid. The Hungarians all kind of here. I mean, they've, they've just butchered the maps. I mean, just the Balkans in general look terrible. They're very balkanized uh but yeah just these little snaky countries here and little patches just terrible looking uh the italians i mean what, like what happened here <laughs> the british got to keep this one that doesn't make any sense maybe that'll change once a month because this isn't one that's like a normal province uh so it should go to italy on uh, the next turn here but yeah you got germany here one little patch there and just overall it's it's very patchy the map is is very patchy uh remember the germans are still at war with the japanese so if we were to go to war with them they'd be distracted here in the east still uh we'll have to see what happens now that the germans are able to concentrate on that war with japan i'm not entirely sure how that will go uh, i set up all the planes to train uh the ones that needed training so we've got that going and then we're going to train all of our troops as well uh, again, I don't have that much longer to record today, guys. Uh, you know, it's kind of got messed up by the... We're going to go ahead and de decrypt there in Spain. Uh, but yeah, that storm really kind of messed up my time in here, guys. Quite a bit. Um, then there is one more decision that I didn't tick here. Now, we have a lot of uh, political power. Uh, we could go and get something here. However, I feel like we should get the core in Cuba first. And what happened in Haiti? So they're part of the Axis too. Yeah, so overall, I wasn't able to do hardly anything that I wanted to do in the peace treaty simply because of, uh, you know, not having the points. Uh, so that was kind of a real bummer. Uh, what do we want to do next here? Do we have any more core things to get? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're, we're done with the, the cores. Could just save up political power, uh, especially, yeah, if none of these are all that beneficial, which they're not. Not at this moment anyway. Uh, international peacekeepers yeah we don't really need to do that yeah so i i don't think there's anything that we have to do right now we could uh do these ones here uh but we won't because we need political power so we're not gonna get any focuses instead we'll just wait we're gonna go to integrate cuba can't integrate these two uh, so let's go ahead and get the the cores in cuba that'll be helpful and that'll be less occupation that we have to do uh just looking at the occupation here where the hell is that we want to look at resistance so the worst resistance as far as the target resistance was up along here. So that's where I sent our one operative. Uh, so one operative is reducing resistance there while the other three are, are trying to get some intel in Spain. And I just, I, I don't think the resistance will be too much of an issue this time around. I, I suppose we'll see. Uh, right now, nothing, uh, our garrisons uh, aren't requiring any of our own manpower. I assume they're requiring some equipment though of ours. And I'm gonna keep clicking on that. We don't need to click on that. Uh, as far as the, the dockyards, we could put it into submarines, I suppose, for now. The problem is that I want to get, I suppose we can another, get another heavy cruiser. Uh, but there's a few adjustments that I really want to make to, to all these ships. We don't have any naval experience, so we're gonna start training here. But we can get another heavy cruiser building because they're only lacking a few new things that we have, uh, so that's okay. And Spain does have a little bit of a navy, I think. A few ships, and they'll probably get a few more built. Uh, certainly larger than our navy. Now, hopefully everybody gets the hell out of our territory, gets the moving. Uh, I don't see, there's no access here, so we don't have to worry about them. I'm sure our allies will return home. Uh, and we do still have free dockyards, but I don't really see the point on, on putting it into that. We could, in fact, pull back on the amount of resources we're trading for, though. And maybe pull all the ones from Germany that we can. Yeah, we'll pull as much from Germany as we can. Uh, we could trade with our... Uh, American puppet here, though that would also require us to keep building in their territory. We don't need a trade for that. All right, so should be good to go. That should give us a lot more civilian factories to get all this stuff built, uh, which I want to get radar going throughout this territory. 
probably go up in Maryland and up in New England. We've already got the whole coast here. Let's go and do Alaska as well. And I think that's good to go. Get the radar stations done, and then we'll look at what we might want to do next. Uh, so let's go and put this on speed five, because now it's just uh, getting ready for the war against Spain. Uh, which, you know, there's a few things we're going to have to do before we're going to be able to declare war on them. And, and getting over there is going to be a real pain in the butt, because we don't we have to do the naval invasion from all the way across here, or we could attack across here into to North Africa, I suppose. No matter what, though, it's going to be a big, long naval invasion, so it's going to require... It's going to require a bit of a navy. Uh, how many ships do they have? Can we even do this? Let's just take a look here. Um, yeah, they actually have about maybe 75, 80 ships. Uh, so we could end up having some difficulty getting air, uh, excuse me, getting naval supremacy. Uh, we got uh, the close air support bombers. That's going to get the naval bombers. Should be done with the next uh, bombers as well. And we're going to want to go ahead and update these. And we're going to save the experience for the new fighters. I'm going to update those. Uh, as far as our production right now, we could probably stop production of the crappy infantry equipment. I don't think we're going to need this any longer. So let's go ahead and, and, and stop that. That'll give us factories towards putting to uh, other things. Uh, we, in fact, need new tanks. We're going to need a lot of this here. Uh, we've got mechanized going. Uh, might not need so many going to armored cars. So we're going to pull back on that. Obviously, need a lot of planes. And support equipment has always been short. Now build up on the artillery, and then I think the rest of this is going towards building up an air force. Here, let's see. Let's go 12. How many more do we have? Oh, we got a lot more. Okay. And I'm sure we need more tank stuff, so we'll go ahead and get that going. You know, we probably don't need this many for these here. All right, so that looks good. Uh, we are now short on steel again, uh, so looks like we're not getting as much from the Swedish. We can temporarily trade with the Americans. It gives us 37 steel. Uh, who else would we want to trade with? Uh, the Germans have a lot, but we don't want to give them any more than we're already giving them. So let's give them to other countries, maybe to the, the enemies of Germany, perhaps. Uh, Canada, yeah, we don't want to give them anything. Uh, yeah, there's, we're just gonna get ripped off, so I suppose we'll give it to these guys here. And then the rest will have to go to Germany. Alright, this is what it is, guys. Okay, so, uh, again, we're about to get 150 political power. That'll allow us to, to fill out some of these. Uh, is there any decisions that we really need to take, though? Let me just kind of scroll through these and see if there's anything that we'd like to get here. Uh, stability's now back up since we're no longer at war. So that's awesome. So we won't do any stability decisions just yet. We do need steel. Uh, we're very short on steel, so I think uh, getting these would be quite helpful. Yeah, this will be a core territory, so I think getting it in Cuba is the best place. I think we should do the steel ones, and then we'll get the rest of those filled out. I think this is more important right now, since uh, we're giving a lot of factories to the, to the Germans. I think we're just going to do all of these. Just the steel ones. Those are the only things that we're trading for for right now. I think I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's the only thing we're trading for. Uh, so let's try and fix the steel issues. I think that that'd be helpful. Uh, and then after we get that, we'll switch up. And we'll we'll go and get these uh, filled out. Uh, yeah, the design companies and military staff. Get all those filled out. Oh yes, we need to train our troops up uh, and also change up their designs. That's what I'm going to do with all the new equipment we get. And, and we're going to change all these guys up to larger division designs. And then we'll get them training. Same thing here. Train up. This will get us army experience. Uh, train these guys as well. And we're going to train all these. Uh, but it's not really needed uh, because it's not really our troops. All right, so we'll train them all up. No, they might even pull these troops from us since we're no longer in conflict. Let's go ahead and build some more of the Aztec divisions. I'm going to get like 10 of them going. I know we don't have the equipment, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll get that going. We're going to go to get some more mountain troops. I think that'd be impactful. We could get Marines, uh, but we haven't researched them yet. Uh, I suppose it would be helpful for the, the naval invasions, but you know what? I think mountain troops would be more helpful in Spain. Uh, and then we don't. We also don't have to research uh, Marines if we, if we focus on getting these. So we're going to get three more mountain divisions. And I think that's good to go. 
Uh, we could get more infantry, but uh, we're, we're currently changing so many division designs that we should probably focus on that first. Okay, so uh, I don't know if we'll change all the 20 widths over. I'm, I'm tempted to. Uh, I could see having a use for some 20 widths, so like invading into Africa would probably be better to have 20 widths uh, due to the low supply. Uh, so we've knocked out the close air support. Uh, we haven't gotten any of these planes here, and I don't know if we will. I don't, I don't know if we'll need them. Uh, we really need to go down the air doctrines. We haven't even done any of those yet. Uh, let's see what else. We could also do nuclear reactors and start. Yeah, you know, we're going to go get nuclear reactors. I think that would be good uh, so we can get nukes. And we do need to update the equipment here. And that allow us to spend our experience. All right, so that's probably good. We need to get reliability at one more. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. And then... Uh, I think we have to Let me just take a look here. Okay, so it has gone away. Let's go and put those out there. All right, excellent. And uh, yeah, they did take all of a. Uh, they're gonna take all of them anyway. Uh, so we'll just use them for training for right now, and because it, it does look like you get experience from even training these. Uh, you know, earlier in this series, we were only training expeditionary forces, and we were getting experience from from them. So, so yeah, it is. Uh, it's beneficial to train them up. Uh, so let's go and get this uh, factory assigned here. I don't, I don't know what we really need for those tank units. So let's go ahead and just take a look and see what it is that they're really short on: uh, mechanized yeah, tank destroyers and medium self-propelled. Okay. So with that knowledge, we'll go ahead and get these factories assigned. Get some more mechanized going. All right, that looks good. Yeah, it looks real good. Okay, uh, we are short on artillery too, but we'll be getting that built out. Uh, we're short a little bit steel, but we're, we're doing those decisions, so it's fine. It's really only going to impact the uh, the ships, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, we'll just uh, let it play here on speed five and and get ready for a war against the Spanish. Which, in order to to do that war, I do feel like we need to really get our, our uh, all of our ships trained up here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to train these submarines. And we need the naval experience, so we're going to train them regardless of if they need it or not. Alright. So yeah, they'll get us experience through their training. Uh, we can't get the tank designer at any time. Uh, there's no reason to get that just yet. If we were to go to war, I'd want to have some stuff in here. I think we'd get the elusive gentleman next, because we can use that operative uh, now. Uh, we are trying to get the intel up here. We, we're, you can see we're, we're having some success. Uh, if we were to just take a look at the current operations available, uh, what I want to do is, uh, well, we can try and steal text. I doubt they'd have any text that we don't have, though. Uh, I wonder why we can't do any other missions here. That's interesting. Oh, they just hadn't popped up yet. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do the collaboration government. Perhaps capturing the cipher, but you know what? I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think we'll get it done on our own uh, 179 days it's really not that that long away so we won't capture the cipher instead we'll wait until we're able to do the collaboration government which we need to be at 50 percent in order to do that uh, so we just got to get it a bit higher we'll knock that that mission out uh, and then they've taken the last of their their troops uh, so this is what we have left two full five excuse me two full size armies and then we have the uh these guys here which you know what? We should probably move some of these around. Uh, let's go ahead and move these guys into this red army here, and then we could just take two of the divisions here, move them over here, and then with many of these, I can see the use for having some, but really, I think we only need about ten. I think ten would be enough, and we have nineteen. So let's go ahead and take uh, nine of these, and then get them changed over. Again, we're going to be really short on equipment for a little while. That's okay. We're not at war, so it's not an issue. So we'll keep them training up, and we're going to move all these over to this Red Army here. And then we'll just take some of the divisions here. Let me see here how we're looking. All right, so let's go ahead and take some of the, the troops here. However many we need to to get them back down to 24, which would be 9. And go ahead and get them moved over here for right now. All right, excellent. So yeah, we'll just, uh, oh, they're the Confederated States of America. Okay. 
Uh, so uh, they are, of course, our only puppet. That's the only puppet we have. Uh, and I feel like, you know, we didn't need to make them this strong here. We could have just left them just enough for them to, to have a navy. But I wanted to give them the dockyards. Uh, I wanted to give them enough steel. Uh, they don't have any oil, but they can trade for our oil. Uh, we can, they can, you know, we have plenty of oil to trade for, so... Uh, we have, they should have the oil to keep their, their navy supplied. If they don't, we might have to check that once we go to war and then, uh, you know, update it. Uh, maybe supply them some, some oil. Uh, so what I want to do is take a look and see if we have any planes to put out. Yeah, we do. So let's go ahead and take some of these and get them training up. We'll just train them just until they don't need to train anymore. See if there's any other, uh, air wings here. Uh, if there's enough. We could do, uh, air wing of fighters, I suppose. Although there's not a lot of fighters. Okay, yeah, there's nowhere near as many as I thought there was. All right, that's fine. We'll just wait until we get a stockpile built up, and then we'll, we'll get them out there and train it. Right now, we really just need to, you know, focus on getting uh, getting the time flying. So we can train all these troops up, uh, you know, get the troops trained here, get the equipment built for them. We need a lot of equipment. Get the equipment built and do all that kind of good stuff. Go through some of these decisions that we have. Uh, to get through, you know, with the steel, uh, finally get these filled out. Something I've been trying to do for, for a while now. Uh, get the radar built. Uh, we continue getting radar and, and getting them built, getting the naval experience, so I can make new naval designs. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we could we could do here, guys. Uh, so what the hell was I going to build? Oh yes, radar. All right, so let's go and get the radar stations all throughout our territory, guys. I don't think that this is going to be close enough to cover we'll see uh they've got a lot of building left to do also building these all up is going to get uh getting all this built up here uh, is going to get us uh less uh, autonomy for them uh, our puppets all right so i'm gonna build here build here i don't really feel like we need another one there we'll build it here though and then i think the coverage gonna be there's gonna be a hole in our radar coverage here so we're gonna get that covered and i think we're good on radars now yeah uh, so at this point it's gonna be about getting uh, resources that we're lacking, specifically steel. Now, you're not going to get much in this territory, but we will try. Uh, we could also build in their territory to get some extra steel uh, for them, which, of course, we can trade for some of that. Uh, there's two steel to be had here. Yeah, I guess we'll do it. Uh, of course, more aluminum will always be helpful. Uh, this is such a high aluminum province. I think we will go ahead and build it up some. And I want to say that's going to be it. Uh, I suppose we can go here. Yeah, that doesn't really grant you anything. Uh, always get more oil. Um, that's 18 more oil. I guess we'll do it just because. Not that we need the oil, but again, we're, we're trading it away uh, to our, our allies, I'm sure. Uh, I know we have the dockyards, guys, but we're still lacking resources, uh, so we'll wait. And plus, there's several de uh, design uh, changes I'd like to make to our ships. Uh, I'd like to get another uh, light cruiser uh, version designed, which we're going to need about oh, maybe 40 experience to get that done. Uh, so really it's just about waiting, uh, getting all the uh, ships trained up. Uh, these guys are almost done. That's the heavy cruiser. Uh, and we got more submarines and a light cruiser done. So let's go and throw these guys in here, and then we'll just get all these assigned as well. And all this will get us more naval experience. As we get more and more ships out there, uh, and that allow me to make these design uh, decision changes uh, for again our light cruisers. I'm gonna make another version of them, uh, and then probably improve the attack cruiser version as well because I want to say uh, there's a few adjustments we need to make there. Uh, we did finish building that that attack cruiser. You know, what? let's go and do that now then with the attack cruiser. We'll make a new design here and uh, just improve some of the the things that we've gotten and haven't put on here just yet. I know we're currently researching the radar. When are we done with that? Let me just double check this real quick before I do this. Uh, how much longer? 62 days. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and, and get all this improved then. Better torpedoes out there, and I think that's it. So that was only nine experience to improve those. Uh, so we will go ahead and get those building. Uh, the attack cruisers. Put the full 10 dockyards into them. And then we'll just save the, again, We'll just save the dock dockyards until I can make another design here. Alright, we could build up the uh, port here so that we can repair better. Uh, I know that we have other ports to use. I suppose we can instead work out of this one. Uh, but either way, we want a level 10 port. 
Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and, and build that up to level 10. And you know, I'll build this one as well, so we can operate out of those, and most importantly, build it to repair using a full 10 dockyards, uh, which I don't know that I set that up yet. So we'll go ahead and set this up. So dockyards can repair any ships that get injured while training, to get damaged. And uh, we got about another minute or so, guys, so I don't know how long this video is going to be after all the cuts, uh, but it, it technically would have been the regular length video, because uh, I have recorded for my typical length here. Uh, so let's take a look and see who we want to get. Got safe crackers, well grooms, and a, and a demolition expert. And then, of course, the tough guys. I guess we'll get a safe cracker. I know we have a couple safe crackers. We'll get David Wool. And then go ahead and get him assigned. Um, can we do these operations now? Uh, I think we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, prepare a collaboration government against the Spanish. Uh, so let's see who we want to assign uh, to this mission. Probably people we want to get leveled up here. Yeah, because this is like the only way to kind of effectively level them up. So we're going to level her up. And we'll level her up as well. And commence that as soon as it's ready. Uh, I suppose since we don't have anybody doing this over here now, we should probably assign him over here since those two are going to leave. I'd like to keep on building that intel up. Uh, we could also start working on intel against the Canadians and the Germans, I suppose. Uh, but again, I, I'm going to attack Spain before I attack anybody else. So we get the tank designer. We don't need to get that. Uh, yet, I think we're going to fill out these ones first, the military staff. Uh, get all that done. Again, not go with the national focus until we've filled out everything that we want to do. Uh, there's a lot of different things we can we can do as well with uh, the decisions. Uh, we could get like the stability up to 100, so that when we go to war, it will be at 70. Uh, we got the 1940 submarine hold. Let's go and get the last one. Uh, what we can do is go ahead and change up the submarine design, though. Although, we're not going to be able to change that, are we? Yeah, how long is this gonna take to research? 125 days, that's a while. All right, uh, I'm just worried about the, the lack of Navy experience. We'll keep on building these old ones until we get the, the level fours, because uh, again, Navy experience is uh, limiting right now. Now we're gonna get a ton from all the training, uh, but there's so many design changes I need to make. Uh, we still need to get the heavy cruisers changed up. I need to get at least one more light cruiser model, if not two more. And then we need to do the new the new submarines. Uh, so it's fine if we got the older submarines out there. It's yeah, I'm not too worried about it, guys. Uh, let's go and put these guys out here. And these guys have stopped training, or they're repairing. Okay, I see. We don't have the uh, automatic split off turned off, uh, or turned on. Excuse me. You know, what? I'm not even gonna worry about it, guys. Because then I have to remember to turn it off, which I won't. So I'm gonna train these guys up. Let's go and give them an icon here. Get them training. And uh, just pumping up that Navy experience. Now, when will we be ready to declare war? I don't know, guys. Uh, I, I want to get the all the troops trained up, uh, get all their equipment. Uh, we're still lacking, you know, a lot of equipment, artillery, mechanized, a little bit of sword, support equipment. Obviously, the tanks uh, need to get finished building. Uh, we got the mechanized two, so we're gonna get the mechanized three next, and we will go ahead and, and whoops, modernize that. Let's see here, get the the better uh, better equipment out there. And this is, in fact, going to have to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, it is unfortunate that I had to have so much time dedicated to waiting for the damn storm to stop. And, of course, it has stopped now. Uh, so let's go and get this factory assigned real quick. Uh, again, just kind of look at what we're lacking the worst. I want to say the artillery is in a bad position, as are the tanks. Uh, yeah, the tanks are, are pretty bad. Let's go and put equipment into the tanks, then. All the tank stuff, and then we'll do artillery after that. We're going to go to end today's episode here. I did want to take a look at one thing. I want to see how many ships they still have. 154 ships. Uh, five battleships, one carrier, 113 destroyers, 10 heavy cruisers, 21 light cruisers, and four submarines. Uh, so that's what they got left. Obviously, they have a large air force still, uh, and then they have not very many divisions. Uh, but uh, they should be very helpful as a puppet. Uh, and uh, next episode, we might be ready to declare war in Spain. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, just see how long it takes to justify the war goal. Probably not very long. Uh, let's say we wanted to go after the capital here. Uh, it's going to be 125 days. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there's no reason to get it just yet. Uh, since, again, 
Uh, we need to get fully trained up here, and then we need to have some resemblance of a Navy. Uh, one light cruiser and one heavy cruiser is not going to be enough uh, to be able to gain control of the seas enough to do an invasion, uh, which we can do an invasion from here to hit North Africa and then invade there, which I think would probably be the best way to do this. Like invade with a smaller army into North Africa, get the Spanish to pump a bunch of troops into North Africa, uh, and then from North Africa do an invasion of uh, their homeland. And hopefully they'll have a bunch of troops here, and uh, their home won't be as well defended. So that's the plan, guys. Uh, I don't know if that'll be next episode, because, again, I feel like we need at least some sort of navy here. Uh, and two ships is, is not it. So it might be one episode apiece, kind of building up uh, the navy, uh, just flying on speed five. And then uh, the, the war against Spain will be after that. And I don't expect it to be a very long conflict. Uh, I know they, they do have some troop numbers here, as you can see, uh, so it's it's going to be a, a fight, uh, and, and with the ships as well, uh, and they actually have a decent air force too, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a fight against Spain, uh, but yeah, though at the very least, that's who we're going to attack, and then we'll determine whether we continue the series or not uh, after, after we've conquered Nationalist Spain. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. do hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.